What's good, YouTube? You already know who it is, man. It's your boy Q Lord, aka huh? The Wave Man, 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 man. Here with TheWaveMonopoly.com to bring you guys another, uh, another what? Another review. And today, we got something really, really special for you guys, all right? Today, we have the WA8000 from Warm Audio Tube Condenser Microphone. Look, I know. It looks pretty familiar, right? I wonder why, man. Look, today, we're going to get into everything WA8000. And all this beauty. Let's get into this prank thing thing. Yay! He start to feel like it's deja vu. Cause I know what I'm about to do it all. It even feels like I haven't been in this room. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another Wave Monopoly review. And today we have one really special, guys, which is the WA8000, right? Looks very familiar, you guys, that are not new to this channel. You've seen me have the original, you know, the iconic Sony C800G, which this is a reproduction of. And we're going to get into everything about the WA8000 today, all right? Today I want to really uh, get really in depth with this review because, like I said, guys, you know, we have the iconic Sony C800G in the studio, and that's pretty much one of the most sought after sounds, okay? With that mic actually being out of production, WA has really done something really special with this microphone, and we're gonna get into depth with it. Even going as far as doing sound, song samples, this verse, the Sony C800G, and we're gonna get into everything this can do with at only a fraction of the price. So. We have something really special for you guys today, all right? So, I want to thank Warm Audio for sending this over so we can do a proper review for you guys. Let's get right into it. As you can see, this microphone has that classic look of the Sony C800G, which it is a reproduction of all the way to the black finish with the cardioid and omnidirectional polar patterns, along with this heat sink, all right, guys? This microphone is a beauty. Just looking at it, it's built very well. It feels good in the hands. It feels sturdy. And we're gonna get into why this microphone is so special, okay? This microphone is actually a reproduction of the classic microphone, the Sony C800G, which actually is a microphone still super sought after today, which is the reason why I have it in my studio, okay? Growing up, seeing this microphone in front of everybody's face, all right? Specifically, the iconic heat sink, okay? The iconic heat sink, it, it, how can you not recognize this microphone, you know? You see all the likes of Travis Scott, Kanye West, um, Mariah Carey, the biggest hits were crafted on this microphone. Now what makes this mic super special is the fact that it has this beautiful open top end, um, this crystal clear, transparent mid-range, along with the super solid low end, okay? Now when you put all that together, guys, you start to understand why this mic is used on so many hip hop and R&B records, um, just with those aggressive vocals and those extreme dynamic ranges where they're singing very loudly, all the way to the softest, subtle details, this microphone is able to pick that up, okay? And this is the, like I said, I'm gonna keep saying it, that reproduction of that actual microphone, okay? Now, this microphone in itself is what I would kind of say is the modern version of that microphone, okay? That older microphone that this one is modeled after is no longer in production while this video is being recorded, okay? 2022, the original microphone is not being manufactured, literally. They stopped production for that microphone in 2019 in which it was being retailed at $10,000. I repeat. $10,000, yes, you heard it very correctly, okay? Now, with this microphone coming in as a fraction of its price being able to do, which we're gonna be finding out today, I'll, I'll let you guys be the, the determining factor. Um, I hold my opinions for the end of this video, but with this being a fraction of the price, it's kind of a no-brainer that if you're looking for that iconic sound, that this would be the way to go in 2022 and beyond, all right? <laughs> to infinity and beyond! All right, I'm starting to show my age, but, this microphone, at a fraction of its price, is kind of that no-brainer if you're looking for that sound, all right? So, now that I've kind of explained to you the history of this iconic microphone redesign, I really wanna go into what the WA8000 comes with when you get this package. So the first thing you'll notice when you get this package, guys, it comes in a very heavy-duty handling case, all right? This handling case is uh, heavy-duty. Like I said, it looks like it's ready to go with you anywhere. If you're traveling, super easy to pack up, tight, 
and bring with you anywhere around the country, all right? The next thing you're gonna find in this box is your external power supply, which is to power the tube microphone that, of course, is the W8000, as well as its power cable. The next, a shock mount to hold your, of course, your W8000 securely, as well as to keep away from all that rumble, which you might find with everyday use in the studio, as well as a custom high quality seven pin cable. And of course, we can't leave out the W8000 tube microphone. Now, outside of this matte black finish, and of course, this beautiful heat sink custom design from Warm Audio, we're gonna go inside the microphone, which it houses a K67 style all brass capsule paired with its original circuit design, which gives you that beautiful top end that we're thinking of when we're thinking about that iconic microphone. And of course, we can leave out those transformers as well that add to that beautiful top end sheen that Warm Audio worked with with Lundo in Sweden to get that beautiful top end as well. Now, with this mic being a reproduction of such an iconic microphone, which happens to be a tube microphone, Warm Audio has went as far as to get an NOS 6AU6 vacuum tube to put in these microphones to give it that tonal characteristic and that rich, rich texture in this microphone, okay? NOS means new old stock, which basically means that these are vintage tubes that have never been used, okay? They're new old stock, okay? So they're vintage tubes that have never been used. So you can guarantee yourself a very, you know, kind of spec to spec um, reproduction of that beautiful microphone, which means if you're kind of getting that spec to spec, you're definitely getting that sound to sound, all right? And like I said, we're gonna get into that really soon, all right? And as you can see on this microphone, we also have the heat sink, which is basically its cooling system um, because when these tubes are being, you know, powered by the power supply, it's gonna heat up and you'll actually be able to feel that when you have this microphone, that it's gonna heat up. And what happens is you need it to be heated to a certain temperature and it can't get overheated for it to perform at its optimal temperature to give you optimal performance from this microphone. Now, as I've been saying with being spec to spec, it also comes feature to feature, okay? So as you can see on the front of this microphone, we have two features or may I say polar patterns. Uh, we have cardioid, which is of course, you know, getting its source signal from directly in front of the capsule. And we have omnidirectional, which is going to be capturing the sound from all around, which the iconic microphone also has as well. Now, one thing that is similar, but not exact, and I actually like more on this microphone than the original, is that the frequency range is actually from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, which is two kilohertz more actually uh, wider on this microphone frequency range than the actual original. So that is one of those things that I wanted to mention when I said that this microphone is actually kind of like the modern version, the, the upgraded, type of version of this microphone um, when it comes to kind of some of those spec features. Now, another thing that's spec to spec is actually the max SPL of this microphone, which is 131 dBs in cardioid and 134 dBs in omnidirectional. Now, what's max SPL? Max SPL is max sound or maximum sound pressure level, okay, that this microphone is actually able to take, which basically means, you know, for us loud singers, our aggressive singers, it's able to take our harsh punishment on this microphone. So technically speaking, max sound pressure level is the level that this microphone can process before it starts to distort that original signal. So now that we got all of its beauty and glory out the way, of course, guys, you know what time it is. It is time to actually put this baby to the test so you guys can hear it and you guys can understand what this microphone can do. And like I said, we have we have uh, something to compare it against. So we're gonna do something really special for you guys today. So we're gonna go ahead and listen to this baby in all its glory and uh, we have something to compare it to. Let's get into it, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and play this song performed by me, uh, the Wave man today and we're gonna go ahead and play the song processed uh not too processed but we're gonna play the song processed and then we're gonna go ahead and drop all that processing and we're gonna go ahead and play the microphones together so that we can kind of really hear it in its um process phase as well as dry all right let's get into it I seen this in my head, but now we lay a face to face. I wonder what I do 
fight if I have a chance with you Would I be a gentleman and open up the door? Simply play it cool My mind keeps on racing I've been so impatient No more hesitation, yeah It start to feel like it's deja vu Cause I know why I'm Feels like I haven't been in this room I envision this feels like a play-by-play So can I run it back like a replay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I run it back like a you heard these two microphones together processed let's go ahead and play these same samples dry Running at fast pace. I seen this in my head, but now we lay a face face. I wonder what I do if I'd ever have a chance with you. Would I be a gentleman and open up the door? Simply play it cool. My mind keeps on racing. I've been so impatient, no more hesitating. Yeah. It start to feel like it's deja vu Cause I know what I'm about to do it all oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey, yeah, whoa You're inside my bed My heart's running at fast pace I seen this in my head But now we lay it face to face I wonder what I'd do if I'd ever have a chance with you Would I be a gentleman and open up the door? Simply play it cool My mind keeps on racing I've been so damn patient, no more hesitating, yeah. It start to feeling like it's deja vu. Now, as you can hear, this warm audio 8000 
do I need to say anything? Literally. Um, this this is a beautiful microphone, guys. As you can hear, it really holds up to that. I know you guys, uh, it takes quite a trained ear to actually hear if there is a difference uh, between these two. So, like I said, I think this microphone actually does a great job of reaching that standard that we're used to when we're hearing that iconic microphone. And at a fraction, like literally a fraction, fraction, fraction. Now, with this being at a fraction of the price of this microphone, which uh, literally secondhand is being sold on the internet today at about $20,000, it's kind of a no-brainer when it comes to getting that iconic sound in the studio. Now, as you can hear, this this actually holds true to getting that super bright top end that you're hearing, that crispy top end. It's able to, you know, deal with that that dynamic ranges. It's able to be processed well, and you can hear how it sounds when it's dry. Literally, this microphone dry starts to cut through that mix already, literally. You might not even have to do any EQing when it comes down to it. So what I think about this microphone, I think it's a no-brainer, literally. I think these are one of those microphones that any audio engineer artist would love to have in their arsenal, which is why I'm happy to have it in mine as well. Um, I actually find myself using this a lot, actually. Um, it's a lot more mobile than the original, with it being a little bit more smaller in the back here, as well as, I mean, guys, we can get another one. <laughs> literally um it's a no-brainer for me guys it sounds beautiful beautiful top end crispy solid mid-range as well as that solid low end guys i don't know what to tell you try it for yourself <laughs> thank you warm audio for sending me this over a gem yeah. see you guys next time you already know time is. look because i know why am i sick it even feels like I've been in this room I envision this feels like a place